added all the stuff that we've already looked at and worked on uh, this morning. What's coming up for you that you'd like to work on? Mm, probably family issues. Okay. So the biggest family issue for you now, what would that be? particular memory that's popping into mind? It's pretty much a lifelong thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I look at what few friends I've been able to make mm -hmm. and they, they're all you know, living a normal life. Mm -hmm. They so, have kids, have jobs. Yep. So, you know, whatever life they have, mm -hmm. it's what we call normal. Okay. So when you think about those friends that you have that are out there living a normal life, married, kids, working, how does that feel in your body when you think of them? Lonely. Because mm -hmm. I don't talk to them. Yep. Even though? Even though. I feel lonely. I feel lonely. Because I don't talk to my friends who have normal lives. Because I don't talk to my friends who have normal lives. Because I don't feel like they relate to me. Because I don't feel like they relate to me. And I don't relate to them. And I don't relate to them. They're living a normal life. They're living a normal life. And I have an empty life. And I have an empty life. Where I just care for my parents. And where I just care for my parents. I accept myself and all my thoughts. I accept myself and all my thoughts. And all my reactions. And all my reactions. When I think about my friends with normal lives. When I think about my friends with normal lives. I don't have a normal life. I don't have a normal life. I only care for my parents. I only care for my parents. I compare myself to my friends. I compare myself to my friends. They have a normal life. It's normal for them. It's normal for them. But it's not normal for me. It's not normal for me. Normal for me is caring for my parents. Normal for me is caring for my parents. And I can't see an end to it. And I 
can't see an end to it. I accept all my responses. I accept all my responses. I don't live a normal life. I don't live a normal life. Normal for me is caring for my parents. Normal for me is caring for my parents. That's all I do. That's all I do. Caring for my parents. Caring for my parents. I've got a job. I've got a job. But I don't have a relationship. And I don't have a relationship. I'm not married with kids. I'm married with kids. Not like my friends who are normal. Not like my friends who are normal. And it's all because I'm caring for my parents. It's all because I'm caring for my parents. That empty feeling. That empty feeling. That feeling like there's no hope. Feeling like there's no hope. My existence revolves around caring my, for my parents. My existence revolves around caring for my parents. At least that's how it seems. At least that's how it seems. I can't go away for a weekend. And I can't go away for a weekend. Even though I just did. <laughs> Even though I just did. But my life still is about caring for my parents. My life is still about caring for my parents. I can't have a relationship. I can't have a relationship. I have to care for my parents. I have to care for my parents. All my friends have normal relationships. All my friends have normal relationships. Normal parents. Normal parents. Normal lives. Normal lives. That's their normal. That's their normal. It's different to my normal. It's different to my normal. I feel different. I feel different. Mum looks after Dad. Mum looks after Dad. I look after Mum. I look after Mum. I look after Mum and Dad. I look after Mum and Dad. This heavy burden. This heavy burden. There's no room for me. There's no room for me. There's no hope for me. No hope for me. I feel helpless and powerless. And I feel helpless and powerless. No wonder I feel empty. No wonder I feel empty. I don't have anything to look forward to. I don't have anything to look forward to. No relationship, no kids. No relationship, no kids. And it's all because I have to care for my parents. And it's all because I have to care for my parents. That feeling of emptiness. That feeling of emptiness. Maybe it's not all because of my parents. Maybe it's not all because of my parents. It just feels that way. It just feels that way. After all, Mum can look after Dad. After all, Mum can look after Dad. For short periods of time. For short periods of time. And the neighbours can help her. The neighbours can help her. For short periods of time. For short periods of time. So maybe it's not all that I have to look after my parents. It's not all that I have to look after my parents. I wonder where else this empty feeling comes from. I wonder where else this empty feeling is coming from. This feeling that I don't have a normal life. This feeling that I don't have a normal life. This feeling of abandonment. This feeling of abandonment. I wonder where that comes from. I wonder where that comes from. Asking my body, my guides, my higher self. Asking my body and my guides, my higher self. Where this abandonment and emptiness comes from. And where this abandonment and emptiness comes from. Because I want to clear it and let it go. Because I want to clear it and let it go. All the way back to its origin, wherever it began. All the way back to its origin, wherever it began. In this life or another. In this life or another. I want to process and release it. I want to process it and release it. Okay, so take a deep breath, have some water. Okay, so I was going fishing with a lot of that. Was it resonating? Most of it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Most of it. Um, so what was coming up for you? Taking care of my grandparents as 
well. I mean, I'm taking care of my grandparents made my parents not be able to do things that they wanted to do mm -hmm. because they take care of my grandparents. Yeah. So even though I have this inherited life pattern, even though I have this inherited life pattern, my parents taught me that they can't do anything. My parents taught me that they can't do anything. They can't have a life. They can't have a life. They have to look after their parents. They have to look after their parents. And I learned it well. I learned it well. I accept myself. I accept myself. And everything my parents taught me. And everything my parents taught me. What I learned, I can unlearn. What I learned, I can unlearn. And I want to unlearn this inherited ancestral pattern. And I want to unlearn these inherited ancestral patterns. My grandparents expected my parents to look after them. My grandparents expected my parents to look after them. And I watched how they had no life. And I watched how they had no life. As they took care of their parents. As they took care of their parents. And they expected me to take care of them. No? Okay. Actually, sorry, I kind of interrupted you. Yeah. They always said they never wanted me to because they didn't want the same thing to happen. Uh huh. They said they didn't want the same thing to happen. They said they didn't want the same thing to happen. They didn't want me to have to look after them. They didn't want me to have to look after them. But that was before they got sick. Sick. And I learned that children take care of their parents. And I learned that children take care of their parents. And even though I'm not always taking care of them, and even though I'm not always taking care of them, it feels like I'm trapped in that. It feels like I'm trapped in that. That that's how life is. That, that's how life is. Even though mum takes care of dad a lot of the time. Even though mum takes care of dad. I'm still in that ancestral inherited pattern. And I'm still in that ancestral inherited pattern. And I have the illusion and the belief. I have the illusion and the belief. That I'm taking care of my parents full time and there's no way out. And I'm taking care of my parents full time and there's no way out. Even though I have a job. Even though I have a job. Even though I am able to take holidays. Even though I am able to take holidays. Even though I am able to come here for a weekend. Even though I'm able to come here for a weekend. It still feels like I'm trapped taking care of my parents. It still feels like I'm trapped taking care of my parents. Because that's the ancestral inherited pattern I learned. Because that's the uh, ancestral. <laughs> <laughs> that's the ancestral inherited pattern I learned. That I, learned. I learned that I learned how to feel trapped. As I watched my parents, as I watched my parents not have a normal life, not have a normal life, and that became my normal life. Yeah, that became my normal life. I accept how I learned to have a, a normal life, taking care of parents. I accept how I learned how to have a normal life, taking care of parents. Okay, so where do you feel that in your body? That that feeling of um, being trapped, having to take care of it. It's more of an emptiness in my heart than in my soul's. Mm -hmm. Good. Even though, Even though I've got this emptiness in my heart. I've got this emptiness in my heart. I thank my heart for protecting me. I thank my heart for protecting me. I am not allowing me to feel. I am not allowing me to feel. As I take care of my parents. As I take care of my parents. And mourn the life I don't have. And mourn the life I don't have. I thank my heart for holding the emptiness. I thank my heart for holding the emptiness. So I don't have to feel the sadness. So I don't have to feel the sadness. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. The emptiness in my heart. The emptiness in my heart. The sadness in my heart. The sadness in my heart. Feeling trapped. Feeling trapped. Remembering watching my parents. Remembering watching my parents. And they're feeling trapped. And they're feeling trapped. Looking after.
to their parents. And looking after their parents. They may not have always been trapped there. They may not have always been trapped. But they felt that. But they felt that. They acted trapped. They acted trapped. And I feel that too. And I feel that too. That emptiness in my heart. That emptiness in <clears throat> That emptiness in my heart. That tells me I'm trapped. That tells me that I'm trapped. Having to care for my parents. Having to care for my parents. That protects me from abandonment and relationships. That protects me from abandonment and relationships. Mm -hmm. So have you had any relationships where you felt abandoned? One. How serious the relationship was, but mm -hmm. I've pretty much not had too many relationships just mm -hmm. so I don't get hurt. Yeah, so even though, even though I've got this emptiness in my heart, and I've got this emptiness in my heart that protects me from relationships, that protects me from relationships, and protects me from getting hurt, and protects me from getting hurt. I thank my heart and my body for protecting me. I thank my heart and my body for protecting me. And I let my body know. And I let my body know. That I'm being hurt just as much. That I'm being hurt just as much. By holding on to the emptiness. By holding on to the emptiness. And it's time to release the emptiness and the protection. And it's time to release the emptiness and the protection. I want to step through the fear of being hurt. I want to step through the fear of being that fear of being hurt. That fear of being hurt. I wonder where I learned that from. I wonder where I learned that from. That fear of being hurt. That fear of being hurt. That protects me from having a relationship. That protects me from having a relationship. That subconscious need to care for my parents. That subconscious need to care for my parents. That keeps me from being hurt. That keeps me from being hurt. That protection. That protection. I'm safe. I'm safe. While I'm caring for my parents. While I'm caring for my parents. I'll never have a relationship that hurts me that way. I'll never have a relationship that hurts me that way. And my subconscious is protecting me. And my subconscious is protecting me. I thank my subconscious and my heart. And I thank my subconscious and my heart. But it's time to process and release that. But it's time to process and release that. I want to step through the fear of being hurt. I want to step through the fear of being hurt. I wonder how I step through the fear of being hurt. I wonder how I step through the fear of being hurt. I wonder where that comes from. I wonder where that comes from. Okay. So, was that all ringing true to you? Okay, so fear of being hurt or the actual being hurt, where do you feel that in your body? Pretty much everything's in my heart. Yep, uh, that's what I expected you to say. Um, so that fear of being hurt, um, can you remember a time when you were hurt? In your heart, you feel that in your heart. Specifically related to my parents. Mm -hmm. Was it when you were a child, or? I guess the only images that come up are watching my parents argue when I was a kid. Yep. So, kind of yep. Turned me off. Yep. So how old do you imagine you were? As young six, as seven. Yep. Even though I remember. Even though I remember. As a six or seven year old. As a six or seven year old. Seeing what a relationship was like. Seeing what a relationship was like. Realizing that a relationship hurt. And realizing that a relationship hurt. When I heard my parents arguing. When I heard my parents arguing. And a subconscious part of me decided. And a subconscious part of me decided. I don't want to be hurt like that. I don't want to be hurt like that. Relationships aren't safe. Relationships aren't safe. 
I better create something so I don't have to have a relationship. I better create something so I don't have to have a relationship. So I don't have to feel hurt. So I don't have to feel hurt. And I still have that six or seven year old mindset controlling my life. And I still have that six or seven year old mindset controlling my life. That six or seven year old emotion controlling my life. That six or seven year old emotion controlling my life. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Stepping back in time. Stepping back in time. Me now. Me now. Back to that six or seven year old. Back to that six or seven year old. Letting him know I'm him from the future. Letting him know I'm him from the future. And I'm here to help him. And I'm here to help him. I want to tap on him to help him release all his fears. And I want to tap on him Everything that he's feeling in his heart when he hears his parents arguing. Everything that he's feeling in his heart when he hears his parents arguing. And I want to take him on a journey. And I want to take him on a journey. And show him lots of families where their parents are loving. And show him lots of families where their parents are loving. And let him feel the loving energy. And let him feel the loving energy. And let him realize that all relationships aren't like his parents. And let him realize that all relationships are not like his parents. And that some relationships are filled with love. And that some relationships are filled with love. And I want to get down on my knees and look in his eyes. And I want to get down on my knees and look in his eyes. And let him know he deserves real love. And let him know that he deserves real love. Real love of a real relationship. The real love of a real relationship. Not like his parents. Not like his parents. Letting him know that real love exists. Letting him know that real love exists. And not to base all his knowledge on his parents. And not to base all of his knowledge on his parents. He can seek it and find it. He can seek it and find it. Relationships don't all hurt. Relationships don't all hurt. And it's, I'll always be there to help him. I'll always be there to help him. Whenever he's feeling hurt or upset. Whenever he's feeling hurt or upset. Or trapped. Or trapped. Or empty. Or empty. And I'll tap on him to help him release it. Tap on him to help him release it. So that he can feel normal so that he can feel normal and have a normal life and have a normal life letting him know that relationships aren't all like his parents letting him know that relationships aren't all like his parents okay so how does that feel totally better mm -hmm. can you see how that relates oh yeah Yeah, and the subconscious is all, um, all your um, limiting patterns and beliefs are created in that age group before seven, before nine, eight, nine. And it's just taken on a subconscious truth. So you've had this subconscious truth that relationships hurt and you never want to have a relationship like that. And so you've created a way to not have relationships by being trapped in, I have to care for my parents. And, and as illogical as it is as an adult, that's a six-year-old that has created that. Um, and not that they can uh, creatively, consciously do that, but it's a subconscious pattern. So your subconscious has been protecting you from having a relationship that may hurt you, where they may abandon you, or they may yell at you and scream at you, and you're doing everything you can to avoid that. But in avoiding that, you're avoiding it in a negative way of um, I'm trapped. And um, even as we've discussed over lunch, there's, there's been that, that energetic subconscious mindset of I'm trapped, I have to care for my parents. When in reality, from what I have seen and, and we've seen is that there's, there's um, uh, an incongruence 
in the reality of it that you're not that trapped. It's that you feel like you're trapped and in order to stay safe you need to be trapped. That there are other solutions out there but you haven't been able to see them because you've got blinkers that say oh, I have to care for my parents, that's the pattern I learned and I also I'm safe doing this, I'm not going to get hurt by a relationship. At the same time your conscious mind and feelings are seeing your friends in normal relationships and then that hurts and there's an emptiness. Okay, but it's all part of protection as well. So it's like I want it but I don't want it because it will hurt. Because I have evidence that has been taught to me through my bringing up and my, what I've seen anyway from my parents that relationships hurt and there's yelling and arguing and I don't want that. So does that resonate with you? Oh yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. So, um, when you think about all of that now and you say, I'm trapped caring for my parents, how much does that resonate with you out of 10? So say it out loud. It's probably down to about a five now. Mm -hmm. That's good. And what was it before? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. So even though even now, I'm still shifting my beliefs, I'm still shifting my beliefs. I thank my body, my guides, my higher self. I thank my body, my guides, my higher self. My subconscious. My subconscious. For always trying to protect me. For always trying to protect me. And I want to step through this. And I want to step through this. I don't want to have an empty heart. I don't want to have an empty heart. And I'm willing to look even further. And I'm willing to look even further. All the way back to the origin, wherever it began. All the way back to the origin, wherever it began. In this life or another. In this life or another. And I ask my body to continue to process and release this. I ask my body to continue to process and release it. I accept myself and my normal life. I accept myself and my normal life. And I choose to create whatever normal I want. I choose to create whatever normal I want. All this time I felt stuck. 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 With an empty heart. With an empty heart. Because I, it was protecting me. Because it was protecting me. From being hurt. From being hurt. From having a normal relationship as I learned it. From having a normal relationship as I learned Which only hurts. Which only hurts. Which involved yelling and screaming and arguments. Which involves yelling and screaming and arguments. And I didn't want that. And I didn't want that. But I'm open to receiving a new kind of normal. I'm open to receiving a new kind of normal. One that I haven't practiced seeing before. One that I haven't practiced seeing before. But I'm open to practicing seeing the new normal. And I'm open to practicing seeing the new normal. And feeling the new normal. And feeling the new normal. Not all relationships hurt. Not all relationships hurt. Some are very loving. Some are very loving. Loving. And I'm open to stepping through the hurt to find the love. And I'm open to stepping through the hurt to find the love. And stepping through the fear of being hurt. And stepping through the fear of being hurt. If I stay trapped in the fear of being hurt, I'll never find love. If I stay trapped in the fear of being hurt, I'll never find love. And I don't want an empty heart. I don't want an empty heart. There's a new normal for me. There's a new normal for me. And I choose to create it. I choose to create it. I'm not trapped or stuck. I'm not trapped or stuck. I don't need that protection anymore. I don't need that protection anymore. And I'm willing to step through the fear of being hurt. I'm willing to step through the fear of being hurt. To find the love that my heart is seeking. To find the love that my heart is seeking. There's a new normal for me. There's a new normal for me. And I'm creating it. And I'm creating it. How does that 
does that feel? Mm -hmm. Good. And it's a process. Okay, so we're, we're going to continue working on it through the weekend. But that's going to start and to allow your body and your subconscious and your guides and your higher self to help you work through this um, as a, a co-creation and a movement and a journey. It's not a start and an end, bang, it's done. It's a new normal. It's a new journey. But you're not stuck at zero where you were trapped. Now you're on the journey. Do you get that feeling? I do. Good. I do. Good start. Well done.